can't afford to take any chances. There's no telling when Fu Manchu will strike again. Why not sneak the scepter out tonight? We can reach the temple by dawn before Fu Manchu has time to gather his forces for another attack. I think Mr. Parker is right. I can let you have some of my men as an escort. Something's gone wrong. Let's have a look. They must still be in the fort. Separate. Sir, but we picked off the other one. There he goes. Come on. Alan! Wait! The sergeant wounded one of those men. He's getting away. Yes, and he will be easily trailed and may lead us straight to Fu Manchu. Sir Nayland's right. It's no use trying to catch the man on the horse. We can trail this one. Uh, Sergeant, take a detail and follow that man. Uh, pardon me, Major. It might be better if Alan and I went after him. Let us have one of your men and we'll send him back if we need any help. Certainly. Sergeant, follow these gentlemen. Right. Good luck. I'll stand by till I hear from you. Right, Major. He seems to be heading right for town. Do you suppose Fu Manchu is right here in Branapur? I doubt it. But you may have some meeting place there. Come on.
scepter. But the soldier fights. You must get word to Fu Manchu. I know the Nihara Hills. I'll take the message. My man. Manchu is somewhere in this area. If he breaks through with a sacred scepter of Genghis Khan, we'll have a man-sized war on our hands in no time. There are only three passes by which he can get out, and I shall have them blocked immediately. The next thing is to rout him out of his hiding place, and Chief Kondar is the man for that job. He's the chief of a friendly tribe of Hillmen, and they know that district thoroughly. Well, where can we find him? At his village in the hills. I suggest that you and Mr. Parker go there first thing in the morning. That's fine. We'll start at daylight. I am always honored to serve Major Carlton. We shall begin the search at once. Will the Sives ride with us? No, we ride to take a message to the outpost at Rangai Pass. We'll meet you at some convenient place later. A Rangai Canyon at the crossroads would be suitable. We will be there about noon and wait for it. It is arranged. At the field. know it is written that one day a leader will come among you, whom you shall know by the sacred scepter? White man told me nothing of the sacred scepter. They said you were a thief and a murderer. You'd be hunted down like a wolf. What else would they say when they wish to capture the scepter for themselves and to use it to oppress your people? Would the spirit of Genghis Khan wish his power to fall into the hands of foreigners? Never! That power has come to me. I am your leader. The sacred scepter. We are yours to command. Your answer is worthy and loyal. Tell me, Chief of the Nihala, who sent you to capture me? Major Carlton at Fort Branapur and Sir Nayland Smith. Nayland Smith? The English troops, do they follow you? They guard the passes. No one can get through them. Nayland Smith can get through them. Bring Nayland Smith to me at once, alive. It shall be done. I meet him within the hour. I will go to your village. Bring him there. Two of your men can guide me. It is so. Anything to report? Much, Saeed. Much more than I expected. I found Fu Manchu and he's been taken to my village. And the scepter? The scepter is with him. Can we go to the village at once? That was my plan. Come, 
Nayland Smith. This is indeed a pleasure. For years you have hounded me. Now you will be very useful to me. You will make it possible for me to take the scepter of Genghis Khan through the guarded passes. You ought to know me better than that. You will do it voluntarily. Have you ever heard of a body living after its spirit is dead? What do you mean? You know why my dacoits are so fiercely loyal to me? But I'm not a dacoit. Not yet. But you will be soon. It's very simple. A slight operation. Really, there's no danger. Ask Lokai. In a little while, you will be like him. Put him on the table. Feel no pain. Nayland Smith, Dacoit slave of Fu Manchu. 